Welcome everyone. We are going to begin working on a site plan and as um, one of the things that we want to use as we progress through different le lessons in Civil 3D is to utilize the file that we've previously completed as our start file for the next project. Obviously if we're working in an office we have a good template we can rely on and as we go through and learn this software, we kind of need to build as we go. So I am bringing up a prior example where we just did a simple record of survey. And I'm going to use this file to start um, the next site plan that we're going to do. So of course, step one is, is as simple as file save as, and I'm going to change the name. And I'm going to navigate to some directory that I want to use for this and here I'm just going to call this Rob's example. I already have uh, some other work saved. So now I have a new file name and I'm not messing up my old file. So here I know how I built this and I'm going to select everything here on the B size sheet that I put in and just kind of start deleting. Um, I don't need that north arrow. Everything else I believe is in model space. So I'll go to model space and I'm going to delete all of my geometry. By the way, if you expand yours, you'll find there's a big surface out there. It's helpful to delete it. And here I'm actually going to um, not necessarily just delete everything that's here, right? I know I'm going to need points in this next project, okay? But I, I'm not going to need an R and a C, so I'll delete that. I will double click here and get into my text editor. And of course, when I double click, notice that it is just sort of blank. If I zoom in and out just slightly, Civil 3D will recalculate its annotation. And of course, I can see it easily. So I'm going to delete my bottom two rows. I know I don't need those. Um, and uh, let's see. I'm going to bring up Bluebeam and show that I need a total of five lines of text. First one is benchmark, then FIR, then FKPD, FDR, and POT. So I'm just going to see if I can remember to at least enter that much into Civil 3D. So I'll delete everything that's here. And my first row is benchmark. I'm going to put a, a separate line between each so they're spaced a little bit more. And I think F, whoops, caps lock, FIR dash, space dash, space. Two more lines, FKPD, space dash, space. FDR and pot. So that's my five lines. I'll click out and it gives me a chance to see, hey, how do I want to align my, my points? So I'm going to start, uh, I need five points. Again, I will bring up, um, well, I know I'm going to need a benchmark. And so I'm going to drag this thing. There's my benchmark. Let's see. I think I'm going to need this filled. Well, I'm going to need this box. I'll drag the box over. I know I'm going to need that triangle. I'll drag my triangle over. And by the way, I can drag these really easily because I have a uh, node selected as an active snap mode. Make sure that's turned on for yourself. And let's see what else I need. I'll bring up Bluebeam one more time. Benchmark, triangle, filled circle, square, and X with a circle. So I need my filled circle. I'll drag that over. And I don't see an X with a circle. So all of these I don't need anymore. I'm just going to delete them. Let's 
struggling getting my point back that I just deleted. That's disappointing. I'll deal with it later. So I'm going to delete these points. that I don't need anymore. Okay. And I need a new additional kind of point. So I am going to use the settings of my tool space. Click into settings. Click into point. Right click and say I want um, Oh, point styles. Right click and say I want a new point style. And uh, here, I'm going to pull up Bluebeam and recognize that the circle and X wants to be FIR. And it's a found 5 8 iron rod. So my name is going to be FIR. And my description is going to be 5 8 found iron rod. And I'm going to click into the marker tab and say I want to use a custom marker, right? I couldn't find one under the AutoCAD automatic symbols, so I'll use a custom marker. And I want an X and a circle. Pretty straightforward. I want its size to be 0.18, um, and I'm OK. I'll click OK. So now I'm going to add one. So point miscellaneous manual, and I'm just going to click a spot. I want my point description. Um, I'll leave that the way it is, and my elevation is 0, and I get that x really easy for me then to change its style to that newly created FIR. And now I'm going to select this point, randomly copy it down, and select the style that I need, that I deleted, I think it's the FKP, FKPD, let's see. Nope, uh, it's the box possibly. It's the filled circle, the FD, FDR. All right, so I'm gonna change this style to uh, actually, I don't have FDR. Was it rebar? Nope. I'm going to hit pause, and I think maybe it was drill hole. I think I got it. Yep. All right. So let's clean up this uh, drill hole. If I look at point styles... I have drill hole. Well, I'm going to right click and edit, and I'm going to rename it FDR. And my description wants to be found drill hole. So I'm going to put in found drill hole and click OK. So now I can simply drag my, my markers and align them where it makes sense. So finish aligning your markers, and um, we'll see how we get move on to the next step. And poof, we have all of these alignments. So at this point, right, pretty advantageous to save this project. So I'm going to save this. And I think I am going to, so, so our project basically now is sort of ready to begin. And instead of continuing on to at first enter the points for the site plan, I think I'm going to close this section and enter points for the parcel that we're going to create in the next section. I want to keep these short and focused. 
So I hope this is helpful and we'll see you in the next section.